era at Cusby's to your chakra reading for September. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Let's get straight into this. This is for Virgo, Libra, Cusp, Taurus, Gemini, Cusp, and Capricorn, Aquarius, Cusp. Okay, guys. Let's get in here and see what's going on. Bringing these elements together for best message. We do have nurturing. Ooh, love that. So this nurturing card is a earth star chakra. It is talking about that is going to be six inches away from your root chakra, really grabbing you and pulling you into that ground, really stabilizing you, um, feeling supported and grounded and held on this journey by earth, right? Um, this is saying it is too easy to get caught up with the crazy hustle and bustle of the world, forgetting to take a little time for yourself to give back, nurture and receive the gifts and fruits of your labor. The healing energy of nurturing is available to you now and you are being encouraged to take a moment to honor yourself within this light sometimes in your life it is calling you to be love and nurturing you to be the love and nurturer right um next chakra card coming out is honesty i can always expect the truth from i can't always excuse me expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself. There's a lot of chakras going on in here. This talk about getting your heart open, communicating openly with yourself, right? Knowing that, you know what, it's time for me to take some downtime, be honest with myself when I'm not feeling good. I know it's time to, you know, relax, take a breather. And it's also talking about friendships. Remember guys, I don't see these cards. I just throw them out there and they just land, right? This is crazy. I understand that a friend is my life, is in my life for a reason. They're nurturing this friendship. You know, it's it's crazy. I want to see the other two cards before I put this together because I kind of see what's going on here. Passions ignited. Ace of Wands. Igniting my heart. Feeling this new opportunity within my life, but yet going after what I feel passionate about and really nurturing that. The next card is Hidden Blessings. I love this card. I think this card is beautiful. I love that these cards, period. The person that did the artwork on these, Josephine Wall. Well, she did an amazing job. Thank you, Josephine, for making them beautiful. Um, you know, the first thing I'm really getting out of this situation is that it's time for you. There's two scenarios here, my earth signs, my earth air signs, that is. There is a, it's time for you to nurture yourself and give back to yourself. I feel like you give so much to someone else and not sometimes enough for you to yourself because you are the, you, you know, deep down inside, you are the mama bear. Right, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, always nurturing, always wanting to give out, always wanting to protect, always want to, you know, provide. But sometimes we forget about ourselves. So the Spirit is saying it's time for you to rest and relax so that way you can open up these new opportunities, let go of that kind of energy. Um, sometimes just cleaning space and cleaning out our room is just the room within ourselves. Sometimes it's not always just cleaning out the closet for new clothes because I want new clothes or cleaning out the garage of crap so I can get another car in the garage. Sometimes it's not that way. Sometimes it's just the healing of ourselves, the giving back to ourselves, um, especially in the ways of chakra because chakras have everything to do. That energy has everything to do with manifestation. It has everything to do with your higher vibrations. It's everything to do with how we feel good, how we feel energized. It is our energy source. It's what produces the aura that comes off of us. You know, if you take a aura ring, right? One of those little rings, it will tell you how your mood rings, that's what they're called. It will tell you what mood you're in, right? If you get a real good one, right? I've seen some crappy ones that don't work. But if you get a really good one, it will pick up that natural energy within yourself, which is your chakra. It's your that's the natural energy. That everything living has. Trees have it. The earth has it. Dogs have it. They all have it. Um, but it's it's showing you how you're going to align. And by detoxifying this 
stressed out old energy is what it's saying. It's time for you to relax. Be honest with yourself enough to be friendly to yourself. Be your own friend. Now, now that we've said that, and that's going to bring in hidden blessings because that will also bring in your manifestations and higher because you're going to be at a higher, more radiant vibration from your root chakra because your root chakra is where the vitality comes from. That's the first chakra. That's where all the vitality comes from. And then, of course, it goes up. Or you can see up here on the wall, right, it's going this way. Um, but it's the same. It's starting from your hip center going up to your head. Um, but uh, I'm also getting this other message of somebody may, you may not understand why, I, I, I just have to say it, why someone's in my life. Plain and simple. You've met a new friend, a new love. Someone is here, but you can't understand why. What's, you know, that's kind of interesting. Like, how did that happen? Why are they here? How did you get here? What's the significance? Why won't they go away? <laughs> what is the calling? Um, so we will pull a card on that as well. I'm not going to get into that one too deep, but I do see that. And that is definitely for someone you want to know what is the meaning? What is the purpose of, you know, even if we're not, maybe you're not together a lot, but maybe the, you feel that there's a connection so strong, but you don't understand why. Um, so I will dig through that for you. Okay. And then at the end, I will pull a couple of cards for each sign to see how to get to the overall. Okay. Let's see. Clarifying on the honesty and the friendship going with the first scenario of being honest to ourselves and being our own friend. Being honest to ourselves. That way we can see the hidden blessings within the situation. Making room. Thank you. Strength. Pulling in the strength for the ultimate possibilities. You see all the yellow in the card. And the yellow is very important. Because the yellow is saying that there is an intention behind everything. Everything in life that we have, there's an intention. We have intentions for everything. So this is going to allow you to get to that intention, that beautiful solar plexus, saying this is where your strength is. The strength is a part of the solar plexus. That's where the strength is. That's where the intentions are. That's how we manifest. So it's saying by keeping this strong, this is where we're going to be. We want to stay strong and we want to stay diligent and we want to stay powerful um, but we also want to have this desire right to get to what we want so when we're really manifesting and doing things like that we really want intentions we're really working off the solar plexus and the sacral chakra for the desires um, and I love how the lion is orange saying because we have the desire she has the desire to open his mouth but remember in this card he is trusting of her as she is trusting of of him right takes trust in both ways um to be able to do this because remember this line is probably scared of her as much as she's scared of him so there's a big trust here um when it comes to this situation um you know i mean in seriousness i mean if you look at this card it's like man if there wasn't trust he could be scared that she's gonna rip his mouth off <laughs> take his jaw off you know or hurt him um, and of course she could be very scared that he's going to eat her arm off, but there's this infinite, uh, possibilities of how we can trust each other. There's a lot of love and strength within this, um, the strength, the strength of trust and compassion, showing compassion towards each other. Um, but this is the compassion that you're also in strength that you're giving towards yourself and nurturing, which I think is crazy because we have the lions here and you have the lion in the card. So there's definitely this loyalty, this trust and this compassion going on. Um, through this situation and there it is again just kind of clarifying on itself to keep yourself balanced and to keep yourself in this self-love area um, as you are really also communicating his dress is blue it's showing that communication that creativity um, and keeping himself grounded right for his ultimate you know for the ultimate things that you want in life Right. So it's like if I really want to, you know, be the better of me and really have the things that I want, I really need to rest. I really need to nurture myself. I can't just keep giving to everybody else. I'm 
I just feel like you guys are kind of uh, wearing yourself, wear and tear, wearing and tearing yourself down. Okay. So on the Passion tonight, it is the beautiful Ace of Pentacles over here, but it's all purple because you're putting yourself in this intuitive place of saying that I know my passions are ignited. I know that good things are coming. And I know that, you know, if, when I'm honest with myself and I, it's time to rest, I need to just be honest and say, you know what, it's time to rest. I got to rest. You know, instead of just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you're just like dead tired, right, to where you have nothing more. Yes. So perceiving, and you know, perceiving things from a different perspective, getting a bigger picture of this, of this situation, but yet giving back the pack. It's all about giving back compassion and passion to yourself, um, to where you really can feel like you are full. You are rested. You are full. You are balanced. You are complete. This will bring in a huge transformation for you. Okay, and a huge renewal, also bringing in the blessings that you're looking for without feeling like you're dying, excuse me, inside to get to something, right? So it can also be kind of overcoming the obstacles in different ways. As we rest, we can think better, right, without just continuing to try to kill ourselves, right? Absolutely. So it's a lot of healing and a lot of nurturing, a lot of getting through things, a lot of rest, being able to look at new opportunities as new opportunities come, getting new information from your higher self, from others, okay, to see what is going on within the situation. And being able to really connect with your higher self so you can really get out there and learn and, you know, just live without feeling like, you know, I'm nurturing the world, you know, it's a spa day time, <laughs> right? Just feels like you guys have been pushing a lot. And Spirit says it's time for you time, whether it's a day, as an hour, 10 minutes, rest your eyes, take, uh, you know, take a bubble bath, do something for yourself. It feels like you've been doing everything else for the world and not, you know, really 100% nurturing yourself. Okay. And with this one over here where I just get this, it's, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason, but it's kind of weird because I just feel like you have some, like I said, you have somebody around you that you, what is the purpose of them being here? It's like they're here, but it's kind of maybe they're on the outskirts, but I don't, I don't understand why they're here. Are they here? What is the purpose of them being here? Seven of Cups. Why is this friend here? Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. The High Priestess. High Priestess came out sideways. So it's almost like you kind of know the answer, but maybe you're not... taking the answer. You're like, oh, no, 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 no. The Seven of Cups. I think it's very interesting. We get the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. It's definitely about healing, healing, nurturing, new opportunities. Could be a love situation. Maybe you know it's a love situation. Maybe it's someone who's supposed to be in your life for some kind of lesson, some kind of learning. Um, Could be a new love relationship. Somebody who gives you great expectations. I think that you know this person is there for you on, you know, on a good side. Um, there's something very promising going on here. I think that you're just kind of maybe overlooking it. Maybe you are kind of, um, because you are exerting a lot of energy. Maybe that's why you're not using the high priestess within you about the situation. Maybe you don't want to believe. Uh, maybe you're denying <laughs> um, it's all water. So you guys could be definitely dealing with some kind of water sign. Um, but definitely is talking about this loving relationship that was brought into your life for that reason of healing, love, new beginnings, offerings, therefore support, healing, whatever. Right. Um, a 
love offer that brings many growths with the seven of cups it's a growing love relationship so this friendship could definitely grow into this beautiful love relationship and for some of you i think that you know um you're kind of overwhelmed at this time it's showing a little confusion with the high priestess sideways um or maybe it's just i don't want to believe that or i don't have time for that okay so but that's why they're here okay that's why they're here Just saying. So we're going to put that there. Okay, so I, pretty much I, I think a lot of you intuitively already know that. I just, I feel like there was uh, cloudiness or don't want to believe it or something, right? Some kind of denial or something. Okay. Okay, so let's get into why. Let's, let's get into each sign now. Going to each sign. We used a lot of those cards. So let's go ahead and use the what I call my 100% personal deck. The ones we use every day, right? Our everyday cards. Okay. So getting to this answer, how are you going to deal with the situation? Going straight to we're gonna start with Virgo Libra. The strength and the nurturing, it says this is time for a new phase, an absolution, and an awakening. Okay, there's going to definitely be this um, a strength within two and a choice that's going to be made um, when it comes to your relationships. I think, you know, it's kind of almost giving me two and one over here. So, however it is, you're definitely going to be feeling like you're having this kind of great awakening and refreshing feeling as you're kind of, you know, as you are rejuvenating giving back that time to yourself, you're going to find all kinds of choices, a lot more passion. There it is, see, too, because you have that passion. It, that passion is ignited um, through the situation, okay? So it's also going to be about balance and harmony within, you know, the situation, taking things very moderate, right, as you are coming to this new standing point within your life, okay? Because you're definitely going to feel fresh and relaxed, Okay, but Spirit says you just really need to take care of uh, yourself at this time. Okay, so let's go over here to Taurus Gemini. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so definitely this is going to change your luck. This is going to change things around for you. Um, you might have an inevitable ending that might be happening so that a new door can help can open but that's kind of crazy because it does talk about the hidden blessings so no matter what it's talking even for both signs over here that you guys are having this hidden blessing because that's the whole idea right um so for some of you you do have i'm telling you you guys have this new love coming in and you're going to be wondering why is this person here they're here for love i see it in both readings both of you guys's little standpoints why is this person entering in my life why are they here i'm not understanding what they want yada yada causing the confusion. If you know that they're not here yet, it could already, you know, it'll be in the making, but it's opening those doors to love. I see it on both sides. Yours could definitely be a Libra or a Sagittarius for you, Virgo Libra, or a Gemini. And for Taurus Gemini, yours could definitely be an Aries or anybody that I see now. Fire sign. Sagittarius as well, um, that you're going to get the bigger picture to this situation. This is going to allow you to literally open up, feel fresh, feel relieved, right? And really, there it is again, that, Sag that King of Wands again saying that I can overcome, you know, these obstacles of feeling this way because now my energy is going to be, you know, so much more um, and being able to feel like I can, you know, really get to what it is I need to get through without always feeling like, ugh you know, down and out. Okay. So that is amazing. Wow. These are crazy. Okay. So going to Capricorn Aquarius, having a personal transition and letting go of any emotional baggage that may be weighing you down, go ahead and do some healing on the situation to bring in the Ace of Cups.
okay? Bringing that Ace of Cups for you, saying that now you're going to feel free. This is where you're going to feel new feelings, feel like you are, you know, just renewed. Um, your intuition is going to be spot on. It's going to really um, open up that intuition for you um, and really making you feel like you're at more peace. You're, you're looking for, you're personally looking for peace um, and peace of mind. Um, when it comes to this kind of feeling like you have this unfinished business, it's like spirit is saying, don't feel like you have this unfinished business. Take the rest that you need to get through that so you can just push out that emotional baggage so you can heal from that emotional baggage and, you know, don't let somebody else weigh you down. Okay. Because for some of you, you definitely do have this person over here who is, could be very dishonest um, with you. I'm really feeling that pull a lot more um, on the Capricorn Aquarius. You guys could be dealing with it as well. Everybody could, right? But um, for you, Cap Aqua, I'm really feeling that, that that's really there with that emotional baggage going on. Um, really feeling kind of, um, yeah, that you've been kind of not giving back to yourself because someone's been manipulating you and kind of taking advantage of you. Whoa, this is so different, though, it, it, when you actually pull the different signs. And we don't do it this way. <laughs> We usually just leave it here because, you know, I, I, that's the overall sense. But it is kind of interesting. That, you know, when you pull differently, you know, because this is the overall reading, which we leave that and that'd be just fine, right? Because everybody's dealing with their own issues. But wow, that's kind of, it's like really... No matter what, you're all giving too much of yourself. That's the, I mean, that's the theme. Hmm. And not giving back enough to yourself. No matter who it is. And it's kind of, it's draining you out, drowning you out, lowering your, your, uh, energy. Working so hard. So Spirit says the overall message for every one of you is just find that forgiveness within yourself, find it within everybody else. So that way you can just kind of move forward and say, you know, I'm, I'm just the mercy, which I'd love though over here for you over Libra, because we were talking about having that judgment, having that, you know, that, that forgiveness, that mercy, um, and really having that awakening in that new phase coming out. Okay. And then we have peaceful resolution, which we talked about the Capricorn Aquarius. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay. And then having the recovery and letting go of that situation so that you can get the rest that you need so that the situation will improve. So that way you guys just feel like you're healthier, wealthier, you know, in so many ways, really keeping yourself really, really balanced and really listening to your intuition. Okay. So that way you can get the best of everything that you need. It's time to relax. It's time to let go. It's time for a little bit of you time and don't feel like it's selfish. There's nothing selfish about you taking care of yourself because who else is going to take care of you? And think about it. if you're dead in the water or drained out and doing all these things or start getting sick or something, we have a lot of health cards. Who's going to take care of the kids? The kids can't take care of themselves. They, they need you. Right? Or if you're watching and you're a caregiver and, and you're giving, you know, watching mom and dad, you know, grandma and grandpa or something, who's going who's gonna to care for them if you let yourself go? We always need to take care of ourselves so that we can give more. And then for some of you, there's just, you know, this feeling of they, get, they lie to me, they cheat to me, they hurt me, and they take all my energy away from me. They take advantage of me. Okay, don't allow that either. You have to put a strain on that. Build a boundary on that. Say, I'm taking a day for myself. I'm not putting up with this anymore. And then that's be the let go and just have that recovery within yourself. The recovery can be in so many different ways. Mind, body, soul. Okay. Beautiful reading, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.